Hey, how's it going out there, everyone? This is Coach Tarzan coming at you from the kitchen today. Today, the topic is meal prep, the importance of meal prep. Your body composition truly is what shapes the figure of your body. So to start, let's go with the protein. Well, in this jungle full of food, I would say chicken would be the king. It's gonna be the cheapest and highest protein content for what you're doing. Also, it's very maneuverable, it's versatile. You could add different types of seasonings, sauces, mix it with fruits and vegetables, so that way you could find the type of flavor profile that you really like. That way it doesn't just get boring on you. All right, so start unpackaging it. If you look at the content right here, in four ounces, we have 21 grams of protein, okay? So four ounces, that's gonna be about a quarter pound. This is just over a pound of chicken, so that would be four servings right there. Same here, we have just over a pound, so that'd be another four servings. That'd be eight servings of protein that we're gonna prepare right now. A trick I used, like to use, because I do like higher quality chicken, so cutting away the meat would kind of be a waste of your money. Also taking away from the protein content that we paid for. So I like to use scissors while I'm cutting away the extra fat. That gets you right to the closest and the quickest and easiest. I'll show you another cheat at the end of this once all the food is prepared. Now that we got the fat taken off of that breast and it's nice and clean, we're gonna take the whole breast and just place it into our glass cookware. I like to use glass because since the time of man coming around, other than metals, we use glass. Glass is the cleanest and safest. Place that chicken breast in there. We're already two chicken breasts in and that was about under a minute. You can use various seasonings. I'm a man of many flavors, so I like to use sometimes Mediterranean. Being from South Florida, the melting pot. I also like to use a lot of Latin spices, and my go-tos would be ginger and garlic. As you see, the ginger and garlic, they're all natural, in its natural original form. It's not gonna be the powder. Powder's okay, but now you're one step closer to its original form. So place that chicken breast into the glass container. Now we're on our last chicken breast. See how much meat I cut away when I use the knife? That's why I said before, the little cheat, would be to use the scissors and just get close to the grain with the least amount of waste as possible. For the grooves, you can cut a little slit, get right in there with the scissors, and then cut that fatty tissue away. That's also gonna be better for texture while you're eating it. You don't bite down on a piece of fat. So now that we got our chicken in there, we're gonna go ahead and dispose of all of these chicken remains. All right, so now that we have that chicken out, we're gonna put that cutting board to the side, and I'm gonna show you some of the seasonings that I like to use, okay? To start, like I said, we have garlic powder. We're gonna go ahead and apply that across all the chickens, a generous powdering. Then we're gonna go ahead and take some paprika, not only for color, it's also for visual appears. Nice color to the chicken. Tarzan originally is Hungarian, so that's why I think I get the taste for the paprika. I also like to use ground turmeric. Again, that's gonna add for color, visualization appeal. Also, turmeric is good for your body. It helps with anti, it's like an anti-inflammatory. So while you're working out, it's gonna reduce the swelling and soreness of your muscles. And as you can see, everything that we're doing is just in this one baking dish so far. So only do we have the cutting board, which we're gonna use, and one baking dish. So dishes are pretty low. Easy cleanup, easy, easy prep. Go ahead and crack some fresh ground pepper on there. Salt is definitely an important nutrient. Just think about it, when you go to the hospital, the first thing you do when your life's on the line or you're about to be brought back from like a near-death uh, situation, they give you a bag full of salt water, right? Saline solution, so just think. Generally, salt or sodium is unhealthy for you or considered unhealthy, but that's because you're ingesting the wrong types of salt or sodium, right? So the best one that you can get is the Himalayan pink salt. That's also gonna help with vascularity in the gym and increasing that pump. See what else we have here. A little ground ginger. You're gonna be really easy with that one because that is very flavorful. Two more, we have thyme. Sprinkle that on there. Last one, if you like things spicy like I do, you're gonna add a little crushed red pepper on there. Things I like to marinate it in, instead of soy sauce, we were talking about hormone blockers, is coconut aminos. This is gonna be an all natural substance coming from coconut saps and sugars. It gives you the amino acids without going to a source like soy. Soy is gonna be an estrogen producer, okay? So you wonder why a lot of guys are getting emotional nowadays? It's because we have a lot of soy and sugars in our food. So just think about that next time you're in the grocery store. Think about an alternative to soy sauce. It's gonna be coconut aminos. We're gonna go ahead and apply that 
around the base of the chicken, not on top of all the seasonings that we just applied. And then we're gonna go to our fats now. There's a lot of hype on what fats you should be consuming. I'm a firm believer that an all natural butter would be one of your best fats besides the coconut oil. If you notice in the ingredients here, it's one ingredient, pasteurized cream, okay? There's no natural flavors, no salt, no additives. It's just pasteurized cream. So this is gonna be more for a little bit so that it doesn't stick at the bottom of the pan. A little bit of fats and flavors. Because these are the good fats that we're talking about. Nice, clean, healthy fats, okay? So now we distribute that evenly around the baking dish. We've already preheated the oven to 425. We're gonna go ahead and slide that in right on that middle rack and forget about it for 35 minutes, okay? Go ahead and set your timer. 35 minutes, start, and forget about that for 35 minutes, okay? On the stove, now we're gonna prepare our brown rice. Just remember anything that's white is gonna turn into sugar. That's gonna be more of a simple carbohydrate. Carbohydrates are very important to consume, and if you think of any staple in the cultural, any culture across the globe, whether it be rice, potatoes, yucca, whether it be roti, whatever that carbohydrate is, it's a staple in every diet, right? That's gonna provide you energy. The first thing your brain calls on is a carbohydrate. So going to a clean carbohydrate, we're gonna always go to a brown rice, okay? Because again, like I said before, anything that's white turns to sugar. So think of a sweet potato, although it might be a little bit tastier or sweet, it's not white. That's gonna be more of a complex carbohydrate. And that's what your body's looking for. Anything that has a higher fiber content, your body's gonna be able to process and be able to readily use. So looking at the instructions for two cups of rice, we're gonna add two and three fourths cups of water. Depending on your calorie intake, that's how you're gonna determine how much carbohydrates you consume at a time. Starting with the water, I have one cup in there already preheating. We're gonna fill up one more cup, and that would make two. Kick up the heat on that boiling water. And now I'm gonna get three-fourths of a cup. Adding this water. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some salt to that water while that water is boiling. I'm gonna add the remainder of the butter. That's gonna make it a velvety texture, also a little bit more flavorful. And then coming back to this garlic and ginger that we saw before, we're gonna go ahead and cut the skins off of it and prepare it. While Tarzan's inside, he's using um, more domesticated knives. I like to use machetes while I'm cutting my way through the jungle, so bear with me. What's most important is that you're keeping your fingertips out of the way. Remember, we're trying to reduce stress in our life. Go ahead and chop that up to a couple, like maybe I would say, quarter inch pieces. We're gonna go ahead and toss that into the water. Now we're coming back to our garlic. We're just gonna chop it right down the middle. Take that skin off, and then we're just gonna use our knife, crush it, expose everything in there for the bulbs, peel the rest of that skin off, and then we're just gonna drop a couple cloves into that water and provide a lot of flavor. Remember everything we do in the kitchen, it's for a purpose, it's for the end goal. So we're gonna try and eat like we're exposing all the muscles in our body and trying to have our abs show through. But it's not like we're eating dog food, right? So we could definitely put a little flavor in there. So now that we're done with that, letting that water come to a boil, we're gonna measure out our two cups of rice, starting with one cup. Kind of be like a baker with this one. The seasonings you could add at your own, but this you wanna be a little bit more precise. So now that that water's coming to a boil, we're gonna place that brown rice right in there and we got one more cup to add. Then we're almost done. To level, add that last cup in there. Go ahead and take your fork. I know a lot of Latin people are gonna destroy me for this one, but we are gonna stir the rice, making sure all of those fats, butters, and garlic get into that rice. Stir it one time. They might slay me again for putting the lid on, but I'm following the instructions that were given. And then I'm gonna go ahead and lower that to a simmer. Now I'm gonna set up my timer for the rice. Right here it says 30 minutes. Brown rice takes a little bit longer. So we set up that timer for 30 minutes, okay? So now we're at 29 minutes here. Just started the 30 minutes, so it's at 29 and change. Everything's running neck and neck. Now we got a half hour to relax, enjoy the rest of our life, maybe check the internet, see what we can do to increase that bank account and ease a little bit more stresses in our life, right? Maybe we got kids, we got other curriculars and uh, different projects going on. Let's tend to those while the meals are cooking, right? Whew. I was definitely hungry before, but now I'm excited. I can smell the chicken cooking, and after looking at the dish amount between one baking pan for all that amount of chicken and protein, 
and just one pot for all of that amount of brown rice. So we're down to about two dishes and whatever we used to prepare before. A knife and a cutting board. 